Hello, 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 everybody. My name is the Humble Gamer, and welcome to Clive and Wrench. Man, they really cooked with this one. Holy shit. So, I'm not going to waste much time here. I'm going to jump straight in. Uh, we're going to do a new game. And I, I did a little test just to make sure the audio was okay. It's actually coming through quite loud in my headphones right now, but... Uh, yeah, I'm going to let you guys watch the cutscene without commentary. I've, I've clipped it out, so it's all good. But I'm just jumping in here. I have not played Clive and Wrench yet, outside of the little bit of audio testing I did a little bit ago, right? And the only stuff I know about Clive and Wrench is what I've followed over the years, because I'm one of the people who has known about this game for several years now. I've never mentioned it, because quite frankly, with a game like this, you just don't. It looks exciting, but, or it looked exciting, but it wasn't done yet. And there were, you know, I, I've learned over the years not to get my hopes up too much. So I didn't want to talk about it until I was sure it was done. And it was actually released last year. Um, it's taken me a year to get to it, but you know what? It's fine. I'm here. We're here. We're, we're in Clive and Wrench. This is it. This is a game that was 10 years in development, right? And it is heavily, heavily inspired by games like Banjo-Kazooie. Um, quite a few games that have come out in the last couple of years have been. But this one especially is very heavily inspired by Banjo and Kazooie. There is a lot going on in this game that has insane influence from Rareware and Rareware's comedy style. Um, a Toy's Tale on VHS. I bet that's a, a toy story, isn't it? God damn it. I, I gotta have a look around. You guys have gotta bear with me, okay? These I'm gonna do two videos today. It's gonna be 30 minutes each, I think. Um, I just want to really take a good look around this game as much as I can and just just really take this all in because man It's been a long time in the making and I really really did want to play this game like several years ago And now that it's finally out God damn so there's there's a hub world Which is this world the plot of this game as you could tell by the beginning cutscene is uh, um, this this little rabbit here I can't remember the relationship between her and the main protagonist, Bunny, but uh, she's an inventor and she made a time machine. She has a, a time machine on her wrist, um, but she also made a time machine in the form of a, a fridge and freezer, which is what our characters use to time travel. Uh, this is the hub world, and um, I'm pretty sure all of these doors lead to various different time periods. And that is basically the game, essentially. Um, there's collectibles. These things, um, orientation, oh my god, I bet I've got to go in there. Well, let me have a little look around here, hold on. Ceratops boulders, <laughs> that is, that is funny. What does this say? Oh, oh, oh god, well, I've, I've, I've tipped it over. How the hell am I, s can I go into first person? Ah, I can, that helps. It says, Dr. Dorcas Industries Elixir. Carbonated soft drink, a rich fruity beverage, perfect for all animals. Uh, brewed the same way within the walls of our great Wen factory since 1888. God damn! Do you know if this were an N64 game, that would not have all that readable writing on it. That is, that is actually some heavy detail right there. That is so cool. Um, can we talk to we could talk to this one as well? I think I, I did do a test with that Hey, you two if you need to brush up on your advanced moves check out the orientation room I've set up otherwise onwards and upwards to the next era Okay, so she speaks in uh, banjo kazooie talk. I guess all the characters in this game speak in banjo kazooie talk um I mean, I don't really want to do the orientation, to be honest, to, like, but I should, realistically, shouldn't I? Um, oh, look, there's, there's a box that contains the elixirs there. God, there's so much going on. Uh, oh, is that a newspaper? Hold on. It is. Trouble with the... <laughs> oh, 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 boy. Oh, okay, well, if you know, you know. Um, if you know, you know. <laughs> Monday, June 19th, 1933. Oh my god, that is funny. That is, okay, that made, that made me laugh. Uh, that made me wheeze. What's this? 
Wanted. $500 reward. Annie Oak Tree. Sheep rustling and plotting to plummet trains into canyons. Oh my god. Okay. Um, do you know what? Fuck it. Let's do the orientation. Why not? I'm here. I want to do it. Let's go. Alright. Let's see. Checkpoint. Uh, gaps like this can be cleared in a single leap. The longer you hold it down, the longer the jump lasts. Okay. So... You can double jump as well. Which is what this says. Why the gaps like this can't be made with a single jump. But you can do a second jump in the mid-airs. In the mid-airs. This one. Um, if we build up a bit of speed by sprinting on all fours. We can clear wide gaps like this in a single leap. Oh, you can run around on all fours, can you? Oh, wow. Okay. Very neat. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, that is going to be something to get used to, for sure. Hey, there's collectibles in here, too, so maybe it's a good thing we do orientation. What is this? Oh, okay. Can you... Oh, no, that's R1. Okay, so you can crouch and do, like, a big jump. Like, uh... Can Banjo Kazooie do that? Hold on. Double jump and... Oh, yeah, the square, like this. Yeah, we did that a second ago. Easy buttons. Easy to figure out. Oh my god, man. This is crazy. This looks so good. I mean, obviously for its style, at least, it looks great. I heard some, like, weird things about this game. Hold on. Uh, let me read this. Nancy... Nancy's equipped our backpack with a watch-detecting radar system. Activate it up... Uh, activate it with the up button, and it should point us to the nearest pocket watch. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, ho, ho, hello. Pocket watches. Uh, can I... Hold on, what's going on? Oh, God, did I, did I make a mistake? What have I done? Okay, there's, there's a platform around here. Oh, boy. Okay, well, that... Okay. I'm finding secrets, boys. Hey, look, it's a doggo! Dog detective! I got an achievement for that. I know you guys can't see the achievements, but I, I got a trophy. Dog detective. Haha, <laughs> it's an Easter egg. Get it? An e it's an Easter egg. Oh, that is neat. I love that. Oh, that's what a cute doggo. Oh, look at him. He's so adorable. You gotta love him. Oh, well, that's cool. Game's got Easter eggs, too. Game's got some charm. Yeah, so I heard some weird things about this game, right? There was a... It's, it's weird. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Okay. First death. <laughs> um... Oh shit! Okay, grip to ledge. Whew. I could have made it across there if I if I'd done the um uh, the, the 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 spinny move. Um, it's all right. It is what it is. What is this? We're gonna need to smash our way through this adventure, I reckon. Lucky for you, I'm both super stretchy and super strong. So whether it's an enemy, a watch pot, or whatever else, spin me into them as fast as you can with circle. Okay. So it's circle to spin then, and there's a snowman. Poor snowman. I have killed him. Okay, swimming. So how do we... Uh, there's a sign here, so I bet that tells us how to swim, right? Uh, oh, God, turn the camera. Uh, some water is safe to swim in. Let's take a dip. We should be able to dive with square, swim forward with X, and then fast swim with L1. Careful, though. I don't think either of us have gills. Yeah, so that's just saying we don't have infinite air underwater. So it's square to dive. And... We can go down. Um, oh, okay. We can, like, paddle like Banjo and Kazooie. But there's no... that We don't have any wing flaps. Um, okay, right. Oh, my God. Hold on. Um, wait. I need, to, I need to learn how to do this. Hold on. Okay. Oh, okay. We can swim faster with, uh, with L1. Okay, I get it. I get it. He does like a like a uh, pedal thing with his with his feet. Okay, there we go. We're out. I think we've collected everything in there, so we're good. Okay, that's cool. To, that's good to know. All right, this looks like it's going to be pretty uh, difficult to pull off. Looks like we're going to need to do a little running. Looks like we're going to need to do a little running. Ha ha ha! Look at that. So good. All right, more collectibles. So, now what? Nice job. I think we're ready for the real thing now. See if you can spot 
the vortex exit with first person mode right stick. Oh, okay. Well, that's not exactly hard, is it? The, <laughs> the vortex is right there. That's it. Not going to be that hard to fucking find the vortex. But that was cool. I enjoyed that. A little bit of a tutorial, you know. Alright. Out we go, baby. Alright. I guess we're starting then. So where do we begin? What level do we start with? Oh, wow. Okay, well, maybe it wants us to start here. This doesn't have a vortex in it, so... Also, collectibles. There's got to be a menu that tells us how many collectibles we've picked up, right? Oh, my fu- Oh, Jesus. Woo. I uh, was not expecting there to just be a dude there to shoot at me. That's somewhat disconcerting. Um, can I... Um, there we go. I can break them. Okay, that helps me. Oh, my God. There's a, there's a whole bedroom here. I don't know whose bedroom this is, but I bet there's lots of... Um, I bet there's lots of references to the 90s in here. I bet. Let's have a little look around. Let's see. Scratch 21. Oh, my God. That's, um... Uh, isn't that... Hold on. What's the name of... What, what is the name of the actual band? Isn't it called Scratch 21? I know that band, though. I know them. Uh, an Insect's Journey. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is a bunch of video games. Holy shit. Wait, Greybox 2.0, and this is clearly like Sega or PS1 or something. Hold on, let me um, let me back up a little bit so I can get... What are these? Hold on. Uh, an Insect's Journey's Toy Story, Beasts Limited, Terrified Key, One-Eyed Knight, Rex the Salamander, that would be um, Gex the Gecko, Chimp Outbreak, that might be Ape Escape, uh, Puppet Monster Quest... And, um, no, that one. A Toy Tale, that two. That would be Toy Story 2. Uh, Spiral 2, Trouble with the Trolley. Spiral the Dinosaur, that's Spyro 1 and 2. Wally Wombat, uh, not sure. These ones, uh, Wally Double Trouble, Sneaky Raccoon. That's Socket and Clunks, Ratchet and Clank. Sneaky Raccoon is Sly Cooper. Uh, Jeff and Dexter, that'd be Jack and Daxter. Anubis and the Tut and Tut's Curse. Not so sure about that one. Louis Castle, Marco Sun Soaked. Uh, not sure. And then this one here is Dimacharis. Okay. Oh, and a fistful of acorns, which is a fistful of dollars, obviously. Um, VHS tape here. Oh my god, that's so cool. The references. <laughs> they really did want to have, like, their cake and eat it too with this game. I mean, to, to be fair, again, I'll bring back up the fact that this game was, was 10 years in development, right? So the, the people behind this really, really wanted to make something genuinely, like, nostalgic. Um, and they put every ounce of their effort into that, which is why there's so many references in here. I mean, it's going to become a little bit jarring after a while, I'm sure, but... Let me just get rid of this cup. Can I get rid of this? Okay. What? Oh, this is just another copy of, of Dimitrius or whatever. And this is Anton Ball. I wonder if I can play that. It says press the enter key. I wonder if there's a way to play it. Maybe there's like a controller somewhere. Oh, yeah. There's like a controller on the bed, I think. Oh, my God. This is so cool. Oh, man. Son of a bitch. Oh, no, 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 no. Do not. Do not. Get out of here. Okay, what's what's the rest of this? What's going on in here? Paladin Snake. Um, mood Stay. And then there's the box that we saw earlier. Um, God, there is so much going on, man. This is like a snack. What's this say? Unitar Rings. 3rd of December 2001. I wonder if that's an important date. Classic Monarch. What's this? There's a there's something written on this tape. Oh, apparently I can't go into first person, so that's weird. There we go, I got him. Alright. What's the rest of this? Grey Box 2.0. Uh Anderson T8 uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, boys! Yeah! Fucking big up. Uh drink it all the time. Oh my god. 
I'm a Superman, bros. Every new uh, GB2 game reviewed. SXS. It's like that Miggle 3, Jeff and Dexter 2, Cletus Big Adventure, Skidmark 3, Elbow War Up, Harm Yarders. Are 3D platformers dead? No, of course not. But people seem to keep pressing that idea for some weird reason. Uh, <laughs> microtransactions will explain why they're absolutely nothing to worry about. Definitely very pro-consumer. <laughs> oh god, I so love this. I am in love. This game absolutely gets me. This is this is exactly what I wanted it to be. When I when I first found it all those years ago, <clears throat> when I first discovered it was in development. This is so fucking good. Holy shit, dude. So many collectibles. Oh my god. The record player. Can I... Oh my god, I can like run on it. Uh, can I do anything else with it? No, I don't think I can. Uh, okay, well, I think I might have collected everything in the level. Possibly. Um, okay, I'm at 164. Okay, I think I might have collected everything. I don't think there's anything else to collect in here. Is there any other secrets? The Pharaoh Returns. Is that the mummy? The mummy returns. Oh, look, there's even more games here. Oh, y wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is that... Co wait, Bad Breath... Bad Breath Day. Oh, my God, it's Conker's Bad Fur Day. Froggy 2. Bubsy 3D. Dudsy 3D. Look at that. Barry Planter and the Dungeon of Mystery. Barry Planter and the uh, Philanthropist Philanthropist's Brick. <laughs> Lil Stu. Bob and Baz. Space Blasters. Oh, God. The references are off the charts, dude. Holy crap. What's this one say? The Contraltus Season 1. Mm, no idea what that's a reference to. Wow. Okay. Well, I think we've reached our limit for Easter eggs in here. Let's uh, Let's go through here. Is this a world? Are we entering a world here? I'm up to 18 minutes. Oh my god, alright. I think we're entering. Oh boy. Holy crap. Oh, okay. Where are we going? Where are we going, boys? Where are we dropping? <laughs> uh, Tomato Town? Whatever the fuck the name of that place is. I know nothing about Fortnite. Okay, I know nothing. Oh, I like how the... Okay, I like how the hub world then was like a pre... A pre-requisite to the actual level. Or whatever the word is. Like, like it set up the real level. Because this, you know, we're small in a big place. Which is what we were in the area before. There's a coin here. Is this just a pickup? Oh, it's an ancient stone. Maybe the first, certainly not the last. What's this say? These ancient stones are what I have to assume Dorcas is after. Supposedly they possess great power, which in Dr. D's hands doesn't sound good. They should, however, come in handy for opening boss doors in the space between time. Okay. Well, thanks for the information. Now it's time to uh, run around and collect stuff, I guess. As you do in 3D platformers. And also, like, you know, see how many references and things there are. Oh my god, wow. I just stepped on the packet of ketchup and it exploded. You saw that. That is that is just oh my god. So skateboards. What's on the back of the skateboard? Hold on. There's something on the back of the skateboard there. Oh god, that's really hard to make out. It's a dragon. I think it's one of the characters in the game, possibly. Uh oh. What is this? R1. Um I mean, I'm pressing R1. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. I had to jump on it. That was weird. Ancient stone found. Has your mother sold her mangle? What the fuck? What's this say? Hey, you found me. Looks like you don't need me to tell you that you can talk to people by pressing triangle. Oh, but be on the lookout for yellow striped poles. They're less slippery than most and can be climbed. Okay. Good information to know. More collectibles. This game's going to keep me very busy for a while. I, I know it for a fact. 
how many collectibles are in this game? What, what's the menus like? Hold on, I need to I need to make sure I know what I'm doing with my menus too. Hold on, so we've got we've got an options menu, which is where I did the the audio checks earlier. Ancient stones. Oh well, you get like a little um hint list. The water looks nice, no aqua fresca. <laughs> so you get a little to do list of of like um where the ancient stones are, but you don't really get like... A... Oh, oh, right, yeah, there's also that that shows you where the watches are. I don't know, like, how like how you keep track of the stopwatches. I don't think you can somehow. Um, hmm. Well, we can keep looking around. We're, we're bound to find more stuff, of course. Oh my god, okay, there's a robot. Get out of here! Get out of here! Oh, look, it's pizza time! It's pizza. Lucarelli? Lucarelli? Isn't that the name of the pizza in Spider-Man? I don't know. So isn't that the name of the guy? Oh, look. Carrot. Oh, oh that must be health, right? Pick up health. Uh, hold on. I'm just... I'm trying to think of the fucking pizza song. You know, from Spider-Man. That one. You know the one. God. Um, all right, let's let's climb around here. See what we can what we can do. Oh my god, that camera is not this. Oh my god, that camera is not helpful at all. No, my god. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. I can get up. Evidently, I can get up. My god, that was. I did not like the camera angle there. That was very very weird. Um, okay. Now we're on the table. Chicken nuggies! Hey, I got my nuggies, boys! Oh my god. That's cute. I love that. Squirt some more tomato sauce. Matches. Uh, ch what's this say? It says... Chef's matches. Hmm. Okay, what do you want? Hello there, young men. It's a young man, sir. Uh, can you help? I was teaching my kids to fly when my wing got damaged. But that awful purple elixir, uh, or buy that awful purple elixir, please, if you mind, can you let them know where I am? I can reward your kindness. Uh, sure. I mean, if I find them, I'm sure they're around. Okay, so where do I go from here? What's, what's the, uh, what's the MO now? Hold on. Hey, look, there's another Scratch 21 DVD, or disc. God, I, I wish I remembered what the name of that band was. Trying to remember. Oh, fuck. Okay, there we go. Uh, we've got another button. Uh, oh, right. Oh, okay. We just have to jump high, I guess. Ah, there we go. Oh. Okay, that broke that open. Okay. Got more stopwatches to pick up. Um, oh, God. Okay, got to go around this way a bit. Oh, jeez. Oh, bananas. Shropshire tea! Oh god. It's a, it's a reference to my favourite tea. Yorkshire. I love Yorkshire tea. It's my fave. Uh, why is there a screenshot of us in here? In like Conker's Bad Fur Day outfit. <laughs> That's interesting. Um, oh my god, dude. This game is absolutely phenomenal. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm genuinely blown away by this. Um, also, I'm pretty sure I'm like approaching the time now when I'm probably going to need to like cut the video and uh, and and go to a new one because um, we're at 24 minutes and there's also the cutscene to include at the beginning. So, but I mean, like, I can't, I cannot fathom, or not fathom. I, I cannot say it enough. This is brilliant. This is exactly what it should be. Nothing more, nothing less. This is exactly what it should be. I am not unhappy with this at all, and I'm going to keep playing it. So, but for now, <clears throat> I'm going to absolutely stop the video and start a new one. The next video will be full 30 minutes without cutscenes or anything like that. But this one, obviously, I needed to account for the cutscene at the beginning, which is a few minutes. So, yeah. Oh, see you guys in the next video of Clive and Wrench when we continue playing through this level where we are tiny, the Honey I Shrunk the Kids level. All right, see you guys then. Bye-bye.